Hi, my name's Cal Deus, and today I'm going to be doing a video to help people understand a safe and easy way that they can fill and make their own co uh, cartridges with uh, concentrate, and also be showing an easy way that you can make your own concentrate-based um, oils and tinctures. Uh, if you have any questions uh, about after the end of the video, please feel free to ask them either on the uh, r slash um, uh, Arkansas Medical Marijuana Forum or on the, this video itself. I'll be happy to answer any questions I can in as much detail as I can. Uh, let's start out with explaining what we're going to be using. Uh, the this here is one gram of concentrated THC. It is rated at 80% uh, THC, which means in this one gram we have 800 milligrams of pure THC. Now, one thing that you're going to want to look at when you do this is don't assume when you put in a gram that that gram is a thousand grams of THC. Make sure you look at the percentages. Whenever you purchase uh, your, your concentrate at the dispensary, they will always come with the percentages of both uh, THC, CBD, and the other cannabinoids. Now, if you see it has THCA, then you must decarboxylate it if you're going to use it sublingually in an oil or in some other form other than using combustion. Now for the purpose of this it's going to be used in a cartridge which means you do not need to decarboxylate it. Um, you can if you want to but unless you have um, knowledge on doing so it can be pretty difficult so I'm not going to cover doing that in this video. So anyway what you're going to want to do is take your concentrate and I am using these small glass uh, beakers. You can order them on Amazon or you can get them on um, any uh, supply store that does uh, 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 scientific supply or you can even find them at party stores sometime. But you don't need them. It's, it's simply um, you know, to help you get more exact later. Any glass that is fairly thin will work just fine for this purpose, okay? So, the biggest problem in a cartridge from using the concentrate is the consistency. Now, what you want to do is add enough material to melt the wax but not necessarily enough that you're going to dilute it. Now if you're interested in diluting it, if you feel that what you're getting in the concentrates is too powerful, I would suggest you can try diluting it for the cartridges, but wait and focus on the oils and tinctures because you have a way better um, ability to control the amount of THC. Now another thing that you've got to realize is regardless of the percentage of the THC that you get or how powerful it is, especially if you don't decarboxylate, it's not going to all be absorbed. Uh, you're going to lose some because of heat, you're going to lose something because of the method that you're using. So if you've used the strain before and you're using it in a new method, just because you've used the strain before doesn't necessarily mean that you know exactly what you're getting into. So I would suggest you, when you use any new method, start slow and work your way up. Now, what we're going to start with is what I like to use to um, break down my waxes is pure just uh, turpins which are derived from cannabis sources. Now this is a company that I get them from. It's called Elevation Turpins. 
Put them off. Yeah. I'm going to. Um, they are. They come in um, either individually or packs that uh, have different uh, effects. There's probably. I think they have around um, 30 different individual turpins, and they also have specific um, strain specific turpins. Um, if anybody is really interested in turpins, I will be happy to do a full video on um, several different turpins and their effects. Now, I've chosen these four turpins mainly because these are the ones that I personally use the most, and I feel they work uh, the best for pain control, and one of them um, I feel I, I enjoy the flavor, so I... Um, but I will go through each one of them. Uh, this is Humulene. This is Lanolil. This is Myrcene. And this is D. Lemony. Now, just a little bit about each one of these. Um, basically, I use these three as the um, potency increasing aspects and the uh, beneficial um, uh, things that each one brings. Now, the other positive thing about turpins, uh, when using with uh, THC and CBD products or cannabis products in general, is what's called the entourage effect. And it's actually what is what makes strains strains. Uh, essentially, it is the culmination of all the different factors that go into the uh, cannabis plant. Your terpenes, your THC, your CBD, your uh, all the cannabinoids together. And the combination that those things come into are what determine your effects. So... Um, what we're going to start doing, and as soon as you see me start dropping these in drops into it, you're going to start to see this wax begin to melt slowly. Now, it's not going to be like acid or anything, but you're going to start to see an effect as I drop um, them in after a little while. Now, um, you probably should start with about five to ten drops. Um, you can start with as little as one or a half a drop. Um, you know, it, it, you can o do overboard on it in the sense of it will put you to sleep. Um, you're not going to have to worry about overdose with this stuff. Um, you know, it's these are, uh, you know, perfectly safe in that regard, but I would... Uh, suggest from just dumping a whole bunch of it. I would, if it's your first time, uh, I would suggest no more than five drops, especially of the mirror scene. Uh, and as you can see, where the, the, I don't know if you can see it quite on the camera, but where it used to be a solid block at the bottom now, it's starting to, to ooze out and become softer. And, and if you would actually go in and, and push on it now, you, it would begin to get softer and softer as the turpins are breaking down the waxes. Now, I've had some people say, oh, well, why do you add things to your... Um, your concentrates or why do you do this well for people that are purists if you're doing this you are not adding anything outside of what is already in the plant when you're doing this so outside of that you know it all of this is personal preference and the key is to practice 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 Seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, eleven, twelve. Well, went a little overboard. Now, like I said, 
with these you don't have to worry too much about stuff like that um, but I would say take note if something like that happens and if you have a different experience than you have before that would more than likely be the culprit and then finally we're going to add this which is delimonene it does have some some other benefits and enhances your experience however my personal preference for it is it the lemon um, citrusy flavor that it adds to your um, cannabis and it is literally the same thing that is uh, flavoring different citrus and different um, uh, crops of that nature and is also found naturally in the cannabis plant. Now, usually in lower quantities than what we're adding, but by doing so, you end up getting... Now, this is actually not a dab stick per se. It's uh, sold on Amazon as uh, clay tools but they're very inexpensive. They come in these nice sealed packages and um, what I generally do when I open a new one up is I take my alcohol swabs and just go ahead and go down the entire body and length of it and then you're gonna want to either Make sure that it all evaporates before you start working, or just wipe it off. Now, after you've got your dab stick ready, then you can start going in here and manually starting to move it around. And as you'll, as you'll see, the colors will start to change in the liquid and the, the material itself will begin to break up more and more easily as it becomes more saturated. Now, you can absolutely sit here and do this and it will work 100%. However, there are a few ways that you can speed up the process if you want to. Now, one of those is by using heat. and one of the easiest ways is by using one of these torches that are often used for dabbing. And you can just hold it underneath here and this wax will melt extremely quickly. And just shake it as you heat it up slowly. Every few seconds just stop and see. Make sure that, you know, and what you don't want to see is any vapor or smoke coming off of the material. 30 seconds. Alright, so we are going to stop there for now and start the second video and we hope you've enjoyed so far and we will finish in the second video.